Hey Stampers, Gina again and uh, somebody sent me a, a beautiful notebook a, lot, a, a while back by the lovely Sandra Fallon and um, when I was asking for suggestions on uh, what I could use my gorgeous new Stampera papers on and stuff like that, somebody said why don't you make the notebook that was sent to you so we can perhaps make one for ourselves. So I, I haven't been able to... Uh, well, I haven't yet, but I just thought, I, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this. She's got all these beautiful laces on there. Um, this one is eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. So, But my cardboard came and it was eight and a half. So instead of cutting a quarter of an inch off, I just thought I'd keep it at eight and a half. So uh, this has also got a little note for sticky notes I love it brilliant so I'm gonna recreate this if Sandra doesn't mind that is I've got some corners I can use as well in fact I've got exactly the same corners I don't have this die but I do have others so we're gonna decorate this as well uh, I've got some tag dies I've ordered these but they haven't arrived yet um, so look all these beautiful bits of material that have been put in the notebook comes out so you can replace it I haven't started to use this one yet but uh, I'm sure hopefully I'm, my notepad is the same size should be I think yes there we go look so I, mine's going to be a little bit of a quarter of an inch bigger because like I'm saying it wasn't worth cutting it off um, so it looks like Sandra's removed the top, uh, this top cover. I'm just gonna fold mine over, I think, and we'll slide it in the back with the back. If it's, uh, if it is hanging over, oh, there's another piece of paper there. Look. So if it folds and sits right, um, oh, mind you, that's gonna stick out the side. So yeah, I'll remove mine as well. So I've got my notepad, Ooh. Uh, I've got loads of pens and I'm loving this ribbon idea under this, uh, this little pouch underneath that is keeping this buckler in place. She's added a little bit of ribbon to keep the pen in place. I think that's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So I have no instructions whatsoever, <laughs> all I did was measure everything. Uh, like I say, mine's just going to be a little bit... Uh, just slightly hot, a quarter of an inch bigger and then I'm just going to do my best so I know this is hardboard this is and this is but this is cardstock thick cardstock so uh, this flap is going to get attached after we've had the chipboard on so it's just absolutely gorgeous and would make wonderful Christmas presents um, I've got elastic but it's not as thick as this so I will try and incorporate my elastic somewhere. I think it's just mainly to keep the book closed, isn't it? Don't quote me because I don't know. Is it to, is it go like that to keep the book closed? Or you just take it off, I think. The whole thing. Oh, look at me, I'm getting all panicky now. So I know, I remember when it came, it was like this, I think. Yeah, with these gorgeous little beads on them. So you can have them hanging anywhere you want. So it does, it just keeps the book closed. But absolutely fabulous. And I may attach it under the DSP at the back. So that way, when we take this section off, instead of losing it or it falling off, it'll permanently stay under the the DSP so it won't get lost and then whoever got it then can just flick it back round so but I love the idea of this I haven't used it yet but it constantly stays on my desk I absolutely love it and it's by the gorgeous Sandra Fallon so but let's go and let's try and recreate it <laughs> as best we can right I've written some of the measurements down um, don't need that bit at the top that was for something else that was for the stuff I had from the that crafting company so the notebook two pieces of chipboard at um, eight 
and a half by five and a quarter and one at eight and a half by one and a quarter and then your basic black you're going to need one at eight and a half by five and a quarter um, you're going to need one at six by seven and then you're going to need one at eight by five and I'll, we'll go through all the scoring and everything after so if I hold them up for a minute you want to go and get all your pieces come back and we can start and make this together so see you in about two seconds yeah press pause go and get your stuff and then come back so this is a sheet of uh, 11 by 12 this is 11 by 4 and we're going to attach these together just so when we get our chipboard laid down we've got a good say inch and a quarter all round for folding and tucking um, I got this one this is the eight by five where's the one I need there it is this is eight and a half by five and a quarter we're going to do some scoring and then we're going to attach that onto here after all this has been covered you may need an extra slice or two for the inside covers because I want mind you I love black showing so we we use cardstock for the rest good idea so I've gone ahead and added my tape onto all my pieces to save on time and I've also added tape on here because we are now going to attach that just so we've got the right amount of length so just trying oh and the papers I'm going to use to cover mine is the Stamperia uh, make a wish I'm going to turn mine into a Christmas book so I can give it to somebody as a wonderful gift for Christmas and also I've only we only made it the train with this and only used a few of the papers but we're going to use it to make this wonderful wonderful album so I'm just going to turn this now to me and grab my poke. I have give this a good, good. Uh, I'm gonna make sure there's no air bubbles in this whatsoever. And I'm gonna add a splash of glue as well, just because it gives me wiggle space, so I can get it perfectly lined up. I don't need my notebook yet, so I can go to one side. And just tear back the strips. Perfect. I'm just going to use a top of glue as well. Like I say, I want this all to be, I don't want it to be stuck down and then think, oh my goodness, one side's a little bit bigger than the other. I know it's going to get tucked around and everything, but I want it for strength as well because the glue really will bind these two pieces together as well. So, so you want to, I want to cover the glue and the tape. I want to make sure I'm right, oh look at that, perfect, both perfect, no overhang here and no overhang here, so I'm just going to give that a good rub down, flip it over, because my workings out are on these sides now, so I'm just going to give that a really good burnish to make sure that bonds and stays together. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm not going to rub these out because this is where these chipboard pieces are going to sit on here now. Um, like I say, you're going to need two at eight and a half by five. What you want to do though is lay this down about an inch and a quarter away from everything. So let me put my glue. Oh, I might use a bit of glue as well. Just so I know it's not going to come apart whatsoever. So peel back all these. I don't know if Sandra had got her measurements from somewhere else. I, don't, I couldn't tell you so. But I'm giving credit to Sandra for her sending me this wonderful notebook. So all my papers are off and I'm just going to 
I'm not going to go mental with the glue. It's just that there's parts on here that I haven't got glue on as well or adhesive. So I just want to make sure it's never coming apart. Perfect. So line this up about an inch, inch and a quarter away, top and bottom as well. Lay that down and give it a good, 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 good finish. I'd already put this together and I've got a piece of chipboard and I'm just going to rest it against for when I add this piece so I know I've got the perfect distance. Uh, and then when I take it out, I've got my gap. So, remove the tape, add some of this glue, mainly go down the middle because there's no adhesive there. I hope Sandra doesn't mind me casing her lovely notebook, but ha what a wonderful gift to give to somebody. You don't have to do them in Christmas papers. Obviously, you can see from Sandra's that she never used Christmas papers. I'm going to push that up again in a minute. That's it. Just making sure I've got the distance. Top and bottom. Give that a good squeeze. And then I can remove that section there. Love it. And then we're going to do exactly the same with this piece. And we're also going to use that chipboard again. I hope we do it justice. I hope so anyway. <laughs> so, glue at the ready. use my Kalal here, I suppose. I just know this glue is mega strong. So again, pop my piece in. Line this up. Push that against. Lay that down, give it a good rub. And then we can take our pieces out. Absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to grab some more tape. I've got this, is, this is uh, five eighths of an inch. And I tell you what, I love this stuff. So I'm just going to go all the way around the outside just for when we lift our papers over I like to use a block because it pushes the air out as well so just spin this around Just helps when we come to fold that paper over and we'll be using glue on there as well. And the reason I left it at eight and a half instead of me trying to cut that quarter of an inch off is because they all are the same size then. So I think I've used in total uh, one, two, I think I've only used three sheets of black 12 by 12. So there's that 
tape on. Used my block. I'm still going to go over just to make sure that all the air bubbles are out of the tape because once you get an air bubble in there, over time a little bit of heat will lift and that is one thing we don't want doing. We don't want this lovely, lovely present coming uh, apart. So again, I'm just going to gently rub, only gently, just to make sure my paper doesn't crack in any way, shape or form. And you only need it to lift up because you don't want it to fold over. You don't need it to fold over flat or anything. You just need to stand it up. Just smooth the side out, making sure it's pressed down. Perfect, and then we can do the other side. Oh, my tape lifting. It's just the backing coming off the tape, not the actual tape itself. So. Make sure that comes up and then I'm going to give that a little spin around, keeping that piece flat. Oops. So that's perfect. No, that's just the backing. The tape is solid down. So I'm going to take my scissors first and then I'm going to grab a pencil. And it's just for me so I know where to no good is it again you can't push it against just so I know where to cut off whoops because I always tend to cut either not enough or too much and you only need a little fraction Just need to be one or two mil away from the side. Now I can trim. I mean, if you aim to have at least one inch all the way around, you're going to definitely cover. I've gone one and a quarter just to be on the safe side. So we are going to do our side pieces first. So grab your bone folder and we're just going to gently start to crease that before we do anything. Just going to make sure we can get that right over before we add any tape or anything. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that in and around our corners, just so we get really nice corners. And then we can just remove your tape. And what I do with the side strips, just pull them back just a little bit so why we've got them exposed for when we add our glue. So you want to make sure there's glue right down that edge and then right along this edge. And again just Work this now, because you want that tight against these corners. And make sure you've scooped in, and then you can just. Oh, we were. I don't mind the oozy bit. You want the oozy bit. That way, you know it's well and truly covered. So always just keep. 
you're not having to lift, you're just tucking it round, just a fraction, that's all you need. And you're going to get perfect corners. So give that a good rub in. And don't worry about those oozing out. So let's flip it over and do exactly the same on this side. Just manipulate your cardstock first. So when we come to add the glue, we know we're going to have perfect corners. Again, remove your tape. That's better. And just peel back these corners just for a minute. Until we the only reason we're not removing it all now is because I'll lean in on it and I'll have to stick myself to my elbow. <laughs> so make sure you've got glue all the way along the edge there. down to the bottom and just scoot that round again and around there and then we can start to flatten that nice and tight make sure all the air's out don't worry about that glue there because we're going to do the same in a moment. Just making sure you've hooked that around and it's all down. Love it! Now we're going to do, oh, we're going to manipulate our sides now, the top and bottom. You don't have to do this. Uh, I prefer to start the process off. That's where my join is. So that's going to be my back piece of the book because my join paper is here. So let's get our glue on. Don't forget all the way down the edge. strips off. So again, I'm going to use your bone folder just so the glue starts to tack to the very edges. Perfect. And then you can just pull this over. about that because oh, it's, a little, it's jamming there every time I'm bad because I'm don't worry about that my corners are perfect I'll just make sure you knock all the look at that side perfectly joined together I may have just cut that at an angle too much Go again, making sure that's nice and straight. What we can do in a minute I can just use my black Sharpie and 
just permanently marked myself. I'll wait till that bit's dry and then I'll go over it again. Look what I've done to myself, girls. Permanent marker. Right. Keeping it nice and flat. Just make sure there's no air bubbles. Perfect. Look at that side. Look at those. Perfect. There's a little bit of a bump there, only because the paper's joined together. But it's going to get decorated as well. Look at me. I'm a mucky pup. Luckily I wash my cloths out with bleach. I'm just washing my thumb. There we go. Most of it's off. So when I come to wash my hands later, it should be gone. So again, don't forget to reinforce your corners in and around. And then again, we can start to work the paper. Right up against. Perfect. Strip off. And now we can add our glue. Santa Claus on the front, a cute one that's smiling. So I'll just let that come up and it'll stick. And we can then crease this over. Oops. So tight, it's killing that. <laughs> Perfect corners, look at them. Absolutely fabulous. Look, oh, it's coming up there. Let's just get another little squirt of glue under there. rubbing it until it all adhered down. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see. That's it. I'm going to turn it around so I can see it this side as well. Oh, it's beautiful. So, we need to now slowly manipulate the card again, just till it goes into those creases, and that you can lift them up nice and tight. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So, this is the back of my notebook. I keep thinking it's raised, it's not, it's where the joiner paper is. So that is my back piece because of the join in the paper. And then we're going to do exactly the same on this side. Don't want to rub too hard. Just want to make sure it bends up without cracking. It's just like a little album there, when it comes together. I know we're going to cover it, but I, my OCD. 
and not only that, we can check it. Nice and smooth. Look at those beautiful edges. Absolute perfection. No cracks. Nothing. It's all adhered down. Nice and neat. Perfect. Love it. So this is the back. This is uh, my front. So I'm going to just get my pencil. I'm just going to put an F on it. And a B on the back. Perfect. Look at that. I love it. So my little black the glue is dried now. We are going to have designer series paper, so I just wanted it basically in there. So. Perfect. Oh, I love it. 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 Oh, I love it. Right, now for that tall piece. This is the eight and a half by five and a quarter. I'm going to fetch my scoreboard up and we're going to score this at four and a half four and a half and four four and a half and four and three quarters so we just got water inch gap so and then we've got like I think that's half inch is it yeah or you could just score it at half inch and three quarters of an inch for that piece so you're going to fold those back give them a good burnish this is going to be for that little lip as we turn the corner so it's like that and it sits there just like that so I'm going to get some half inch tape on there and I'm also going to add glue for a good measure as well and you want this up to the score line but not going over Use your block not only to take off but it smooths it down as well and I just want to make sure no air bubbles I love that little square block I think it's brilliant so the back and this is going on the front so this is going to get a deer down right there now right there and then we've got that quarter inch I'll show you now this little quarter inch gap here perfect so remove your tape and then just get your glue on there as well it just gives you a little bit of wiggle space you don't get that with tape and it strengthens it when it's down yay the longest thing is actually putting the cover on. The decoration and the little pockets and everything else. They are. Uh, so I'm just going to flatten that. Just while I get it on the end. Pop my card stuck. Making sure it's right along the edge there as well. Right along that edge there as well. And there's no overlapping. And then we can whoops, give that a good. You could have mitered the ends if you wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary.
So we've got the shape now. We've got that uh, beautiful piece in. This is the bit that it gets tucked on on the inside. So there's the little notebook ready, believe it or not. Right, elastic. I'm going to grab mine. Mine's really thin. But this is the only stuff I've got. But it'll do, it'll keep the book closed. So. I'm going to add that at roughly here. You could add decoration to this now if you wanted. Uh, let me just have a look, see if I've got any Christmas charms. Oh, I think I do, I think. I think I do, I think I do, I think I do. Right, somebody sent me this gorgeous little reindeer. Look how beautiful that is. So, I'm going to have that. Yeah, that's it. Just tie that in a knot and a triple one just to be on the safe side. And then I'm just going to keep it towards this seam here. Nick them off. Let's just give it a test. That's going to come over. And this is going to be permanently on. So that will keep the little book closed. And there's that gorgeous little charm. That's perfect. Oops. Don't want our little thingy coming off. So I'm going to grab some more tape. Gonna scoot him up out the way a minute. Just gonna add another line of tape. And then I'm just gonna peel this back. and add that just on there. Just so it can't come off. Maybe I should put the little knot towards the top as well so it's not interrupting the DSP. So I can add the knot about there. Just making sure that's nice and relaxed. Now when I add my DSP on this piece, that will be permanently glued in. And our little charm will be showing on the other side. How wonderful! So this side of the book now. Oh, I've got that, got that elastic on it. We're going to add some DSP to both sides and then we're going to add these little book and little pocket and then the centre piece we're going to do the same. Oh, I love it. But first of all, I'm going to grab some paper and I'm going to cover this and the spine. So let's pick away our papers absolutely love this stack of paper it's divine i mean look at those on there i could even attach one of these little 
and use an envelope as a pocket instead of just a tuck spot. We'll see about that after. So, I don't want nothing up there. He's going on the front of this album. He's so adorable. I just want I don't I don't want nothing too busy. But I don't want nothing too beautiful because the notebook's gonna cover it up. I love those blues. Stunning. Tell you oh we've got a piece of paper there. Oh there you go. We could use that green up, couldn't we? Yeah, let's just do that for a minute. So, I might even have the little ruler showing on there. I'm going to have that little knot right at the top. Because I don't want it interrupting the papers. So I'm going to go from there. I don't think this is straight for some reason because when I add that on there and lift that up there to make it level, it's not so level down there. So I'm going to cut that off about there on about there. Oh, I love it. Now it's been sitting on my desk since it arrived, which was absolutely a gorgeous gesture. But I've never, you know, until somebody said, oh, why don't you make the little notebook? So we can make one, maybe. Let me just test this side. It looks straight, so it might just be me that's uh, thinking it's not. <laughs> so I'm going to attach that piece there. Look at that, it's out. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. Let me have a look at this gorgeous notebook. Yeah, she's added one full piece on the whole bottom bit. Mm. Should we do the same? i tell you what I am going to do. This paper will be used, don't worry. None of it will go to waste, ever. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I am going to have to leave that in the centre or towards there because it's just gonna it looks a bit ugly poking out all the top so I I tell you what I'm gonna do oh great thinking back woman another piece of tape I am going to tape that down So I'm going to take that side down. Perhaps I'll have to invest in some thicker... Um, Elastic. <laughs> right, two seconds I will be. going to use 
a piece of the little red robin notebook and I'm going to cover the whole bottom piece I'm going to make sure it's cut straight as well so because that side doesn't seem to be straight it's probably just my eyesight so I'll take that strip off wow we don't need to take much off there do we and that little strip let me just test that again for a minute. Look at that, it's out. It's either my paper that's out or this paper's out. It can't be. So I'm just going to mark that now. straight isn't it <laughs> it's probably my cutting on the cut of the chipboard oh my goodness what am i like so this is going to get permanently glued down now in our album just a tiny little bump there but we know what that's for So I'm going to grab my collar because it's a bit more wiggle space and it's a lot of area to cover. That'll give me, it's a little bit thinner than my uh, Stampera papers, this little red robin paper is. Just don't want to take up and this will definitely give me a lot of wiggle space so let's get this end as close to the edge as possible and as low down as possible I've got loads of wiggle space on this And it's gooey. Oh, my little bump there, look. The notepads go in there, so no one's going to see that. That's really close to the edge. Get that gooey, gooey glue. Press down. And then we're going to work our pieces again, our creases. So just work them gently. Sit upright. I'm 
work that glue, work that glue until it's permanently glued down. So let's start at this side. Loving it. And then that is permanently down. Now we're going to spin this around and we're just going to get our other piece and give that a good. You've got to keep flat it, flattening it down just until it gets glued down permanent. Good to me. And then our other side. See? Oh, gotta wait for that to dry a little bit better. We should wait a little bit for that to go off because it's wanting to lift. But that's the time we should be. I'm just going to hold this against my chair. Perfect. Just test our little book. Don't come out. Alright, get in there now with a bit of this. Sure, you're all the way to the edge. On this side as well. Cute. No, don't keep lifting up. Glue hasn't come out the end, that's why. That's got and I get it now. That's got it. Yeah. Definitely. There's probably just no colour glue up that top end. Okay, now stop it. So, let's just test now. Oh, do you know, I can't help myself. And when our butt comes over, this now is going to permanently stay on there. I love it. Look how nice and neat that's come together there. Perfect. And then this is going to permanently stay on. Love it. Oops, just got a little bit more in there. Give that chance to dry and then it won't come up. Right, now we're going to move on. We need DSP now for in here and on here. So let's pick some gorgeous papers. Big enough. Perhaps I'm going to have that on the inside. It's not as long actually, so I want a longer piece. Why not use the inside of the cover? That way we're not losing any paper whatsoever. And we've got those wonderful Christmas trees. The only thing is we can't, you can't do that little black strip. Well you could if you wanted to cut it at a one eighth of an inch. 
so making sure it's permanent I'm just going to lower that a second just so I know where I'm coming to This would look nice with one of those little desk calendars in, wouldn't it, as well? Perfect. So that just, look, that paper is out. <laughs> if you wanted to add a little strip down there, now you could, if you wanted to, what you, you're talking minute and I mean minute so I think I'm going to leave mine out as well so let's choose so we are going to have our little uh, post-it notebook on there and we're going to have this as a top spot but we're going to use DSP as well to cover it So let me find some nice papers. I'm going to keep all these little strips in the wallet because they're just going to fall out all over the place otherwise. <laughs> like these different pieces as well. So, I'm not going to use the same, or did, uh, well she did, to turn it into a little pocket, so the width on that, sorry I babble too much don't I sometimes, so that is, I'm going to turn it around. It's nearly that is four and three eighths so I want five and three eighths because I'm going to score half an inch either side and I'm going to take it to about four and a half so four and a half to five and five eighths the edge but I'm going to score these first so I'm going to flip them over don't score it too heavy handedly so half an inch half an inch and half an inch I'm just going to nick That. Just gonna fold and burn those. I'm 
they make lovely Christmas presents. And it matter what you can do with a piece of chipboard and some gorgeous papers. Oh, my sister picked her album up yesterday. Oh, she loved it. She loved it. So I'm, the reason I'm gluing them down again, I'm going to put some nice... Uh, why is that? I've measured it right to the end. Oh, you silly sausage. I have to. Again, again, again. I have. I've measured it too wrong. That is four and it's four and three eighths, not four and five eighths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off this side and then when we glue that down on there I'm just going to glue it, the closure down. Oh my goodness, what am I like? In fact, I'm going to do four and a quarter. That way I stay away from the score lines. So that will go on there now, right up close. And this is coming away from this score line. So when we open and close it, it's not going to get damaged on anything. Cute. Love the way that goes on. Right, what are we going to use for... Oh, let's have a look at the dies. Oh, I've got some lovely new edge dies and stuff. I like that one. Mm, I'm also liking that one now as well. How cute! Look at that, so cute. Well, there's that lovely pattern. Do you know what I might do? I might add a very thin piece of black cardstock behind. Just cut it so you can see it. I only need a little tiny bit just to go to there. So let's mark this. Just like that. I'm going to trim that out. A little piece I need. And then I'm just going to glue that just 
there, right along that edge. Making sure you can't see any of that. And then that will sit on there and give us the illusion If I do a spot of glue under there and lay this down nice and flat, Glue this down. I can still see that little bit of black. Oh, that's better. That is going to go on there and on there 